I love calculus. What can I say? I like it mostly as a way to try to understand the way that the physical world works, but sometimes, just sometimes, I like going through the problem solving exercise of doing a differentiation or an integration. So when I got a request based on a video that was determining the equation for a charging capacitor in a circuit like this one, that wanted me to go through the missing integration step. I thought, why not? Let's do it. So let's do it right here. You can see that missing step here. Now I don't want to go into the details of doing this integration, but what we'll end up with is negative log of Vs minus Vc, and this will be from zero up to Vc. And I didn't show why this is true in that video, so let's see why. Well, I'm going to rewrite this as integral from one, zero to Vc of one over Vs minus Vc dVc. Okay, we're going to use substitution. That's the method that we need to use to do this, to solve this. And so if I let x equal vs minus vc, so I'm going to substitute x in for the equation there, and dx is equal to negative dvc. So I can substitute these values into that equation there, and I get the integral of 1 over x, substitute in x for that, over negative dx. Now the integration interval also changes, and I'll show you what the substitution is here. It's actually not even necessary because I'm going to back substitute and, and get rid of it. But if vc is 0, then x is going to be vs. And if vc is capital vc, then x is going to be vs minus vc. So I'm integrating from vs up to vs minus vc. Well, the integral of 1 over x is the log of x, the absolute value of x. I had that negative sign there, so I need to put the negative there. And I'm integrating from vs to vs minus vc. And I said, like I said, that actually doesn't matter, because now I'm going to back substitute. I'm going to substitute vs minus vc in here for x, and I get negative log of vs minus vc from 0 up to capital vc. And that's it. If you want to see the original video where this question came from, you can see that video here. If you want to see more videos on capacitors, you can check out the playlist here. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful and you think others would find it helpful, please like it. It helps people find it. If you'd like to get updates on the latest videos that I post, then you can hit subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, stay sharp, and have fun.